Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker is said to have many different action-packed sequences in this movie by writer and director J.J. Abrams and Chris Terrio. This is Mike Zero. If you guys are new to the channel, do make sure to subscribe to see future Star Wars content. Now, one thing about this movie that a lot of people are very excited about is, of course, exactly how J.J. is going to handle all of the action sequences in this film, whether it comes to lightsaber duels or space scenes or even land battles. This is what really makes a Star Wars movie at the very end of the day. And when we look at everything that has been done in the prequels and the originals, we do know that J.J. Abrams is borrowing elements from those movies, but we'll also be looking at wars that happened in real life. And I think that's one of the great things about Star Wars is that if you look at even the originals and the prequels, you can see a lot of the inspirational pieces in there. Now these past couple of weeks or so, we've been learning a whole lot more about this film, and when it all comes down to one of the concept art descriptions, this is where things begin to get very exciting for the characters of Kylo Ren, Rey, and a whole lot more. Now specifically, shot descriptions consisting of Kylo Ren slaughtering rebel soldiers in the trenches of the First Order headquarters. It's described that Kylo Ren uses his lightsaber like a boomerang against three soldiers. The next goes over Rey on the edge of a collapsed bridge, where it's described that she is helping up Poe Dameron from falling off after Kylo's shuttle used a missile on the bridge's support. It's described to be a dramatic moment for the heroes in the film. Another describes Kylo ship chasing Rey on the battlefield, where it said that he is firing his blasters at her to where it said that Rey takes cover and jumps in one of the trenches and goes underground. It said that the scene is heavily based off of World War I as well as the beach of Normandy from World War II. The next describes Kerry Russell's character, codenamed Zori, using a sniper rifle in a tower that is like a bell tower in the Star Wars universe. It's described that she takes a shot at one of the Knights of Ren, however does not kill him. Kylo is said to eventually land his ship and walk down the ramp, deflecting dozens of blaster shots by the Resistance and using the Force Stasis technique and directing the fire back at the Resistance fighters. It's said that this is when Kylo calls in his Red Storm troopers to go up against an army of Resistance fighters and pirates. So I really want to go over a couple of parts about this because a lot of these different scenes in episode 9 really do seem like they really are going to be quite action-packed in episode 9 between both Kylo Ren, Rey, and a whole lot more in this story. So the one piece that I really do want to go over is of course how it's described that Kylo Ren is using a certain ship in this movie in order to go up against Rey of, over the battlefield within the third act of the film. In case you guys did not know, Kylo Ren gets a brand new ship in this film. It's going to actually be colored white, and it's exactly where he stores the Darth Vader melted helmet. Now, what I like so much about this is that this could very well be used as a piece of symbolism. We do know that his ship is going to be colored white in this movie. It could very well be a piece of symbolism of Ben Demption or a Kylo Ren Redemption arc where Kylo Ren is going to become Ben Solo once again at a certain point in time in this film. So the other piece that I do want to go over that also really does intrigue me is how Kylo Ren is described to be slaughtering rebel soldiers in the trenches of the First Order headquarters, where it's described that Kylo is using his lightsaber like a boomerang. Now we haven't seen any of the major characters use this ability in the sequel trilogy so far to a great extent, and that Kylo Ren will be now using that actual move in Episode 9, The Rise of Skywalker, taking down Resistance fighters. And what I like so much about this is that this really is somewhat of a callback to what Darth Vader does in the comics and even in Rogue One, A Star Wars Story, when he's just deflecting blaster fire and pretty much, you know, all hell is breaking loose when, you know, Kylo Ren comes into play here and he's taking on the Resistance themselves. So I also want to go over the dramatic sequence. This also falls directly in line with the large bridge set that was actually developed over at Cardington a couple of months ago, where Rey is actually said to be helping up Poe Dameron after Kylo Ren destroys the support of the bridge itself where it begins to collapse, where Rey has to actually save Poe Dameron from sudden death. So what I like so much about this is that this really does kind of just create more experiences between both the characters of Rey and Poe Dameron, something that we have not seen too much of in the sequel trilogy other than at the very end of episode 8 where we saw them on board of the Millennium Falcon. That was about it right then and there. 
So all these different sequences, I think the other one that really does intrigue me is the character Zori, which by the way is Carrie Russell's character. There's a lot of talk that she is a bounty hunter in this film and that she actually uses what is said to be the Star Wars version of a bell tower, where she's using a sniper rifle, taking down one of the Knights of Ren, however not killing them, hitting his armor in the chest. So the Knights of Ren, we do know that they are heavily armored in this movie and at least two of the Knights use heavy blaster rifles in the film in order to take on Zori in some of the sequences in episode 9. Anyways guys, drop a comment below, let me know what you think about all of this in the comments, and if you guys did enjoy the content for today, do make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support, and I'll catch you guys next time.